To learn bunny hop bars, it was real hard for me just because uh, I would huck it and I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just, I really, at the time, I didn't have that much pop anyway, so I wasn't getting that high in the air and I was just throwing the bars and I would land backwards and I'd just like, all my momentum would just go forward and I'd miss my hands completely. When I learned bar spins first, I started doing half bar spins over dirt jumps and then like eventually full bar spins over dirt jumps. I didn't learn bunny hop bar spins for like a while after that. I just never even like thought to do that. When I learned them, like I could do like the manual ones. Once I started like really messing with them, I was like a fly out. It was just, you know, flying out of like this little dirt thing we had in our neighborhood and like just throwing them and letting, you know, lean back, let them slide, just go right off the back end. There were no fly out jumps around me to learn them on, so. The grass was the next best thing. Um, just in case I was to fall back and slip, I land on grass and it kind of pad the landing a little bit. I finally figured it out when I got to the skate park and tried to fly out off of a box jump lip. And it gave me that more time since I didn't have a lot of pop. And I could be more organized with my hands and it just helped out. To do a bunny hop bar spin, you gotta like, obviously be comfortable with like a good hop, like just get a medium hop. I do it like right when I like, kind of like floating there. Like a lot of guys do it on the way up, but I do it like when I get to the top and like level out and then I just, as soon as I level out, just throw with my right hand, catch my left. When you bunny hop, level out. Pinch the seat with your knees or your lower legs to keep the bike straight and throw the bars with whatever hand you're comfortable with and catch it. And keep, and keep your eyes on the bars at all times. I think the easiest way to get help with bunny hop bar spins is uh, if you're doing them, Keep your front end up because it keeps your legs like right by like the back end of your seat where like trannies out. I think that's the easiest way because like you don't really have to pinch if your legs are right in that general area. It just helps keep everything steady if you like throw them even. It's like a lot easier for your bike to like move side to side and like get out of control and blow off the back. So I definitely have a seat to, that helps me out. Like my calves kind of automatically pinch. I don't really focus on that. I think it's just a natural thing for my legs to just like come together like that, but it helps having the seat up a little bit.